people. Damn. This is a video where my package is kind of being shown, as you can see. Like, see here? And, um, oops. Uh, oops. Yeah, yeah, about that. Um, very amateur filming, as you can see. But I thought this is good. I like that. I was pretty messy, guys, as you can see. Oh, I had an alarm clock? Wow. I was very, even for that time, I was very, and that's, that's condoms in the, go back, I, want, we, I caught something, hold on, let's see it right there, right there, <gasps> busted, what the hell is wrong with me, Jesus, gosh. <laughs> what I did, I didn't really move out of my place, you do know that, right? No, you don't. I actually was preparing to move out, but I put everything in a certain area of the house so to be easily moved out. So I didn't fully move out yet. I love this place. It was so cool. It was a duplex, but it was so quiet. It was perfect for me in college. Perfect. Couldn't do the door. Couldn't do apartments or anything like that. I tried one year, about went crazy. What's that? Is that socks behind my? What's what's going on with this? What's going on? I'm wearing glasses too. What is going on with this? Oh, oh, I know. I know what that's about. My headboard. So, it it used to be a part of the bed, but when I was with somebody, if you know what I mean, it would rock the bed and it would bang against the wall all the time. And the neighbors next door could easily hear that. So I had to just end up detaching the headboard from the frame and putting socks on it so it doesn't scrape the wall in case it is banged. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you for all the love and support and I'm returning that back to you guys. So I'm gonna try to do a hard. That's clever. Hard. There you go. Show my love and support for you guys. First off, I'm warning you, this is a gay, a gay video. So let me turn on the gate off, the gay warning. <laughs> So I'm, I'm such a dork. Okay. <laughs> so if you're straight, take a hike. Sorry, this is just too. This video is gonna be too gay for you. <sighs> oh man, this is definitely this is definitely dorkable territory here. Uh, I loved this video so much. This was so cool. I loved it. I was so excited for the state. He wasn't expected to be here for an hour or so, but I was way on top of my game and just finished up showering. Clean as a whistle, smelling good, feeling good. Because of that, I just went ahead and just popped some music on and just started dancing, you know? Nothing would stop me, so I just started dancing away. Dance, dance, dance. My dancing's horrific, so thank God nobody could see it. But all the festivities came to a stop. When some fucker was staring at me through the window, it was my date that showed early. <laughs> Closet cases. That was so good. Sperm is. That is good. I worked my butt off that on that. Um, 2013. Um, this is kind of a depressing night. Um, my best friend, or I guess my best friend doesn't want to be friends with me no more. It's actually kind of unusual and uh, complicated. Um. <laughs> uh, back then I was more unusual and more complicated. Um, but in this video, for starters, this was one of my first YouTube videos I put out. And um, it, I was extremely nervous. Um, I was in a bad state of mind. And if I felt like it didn't accurately represent myself even then. I just felt I was just confused. I was putting labels out there and I assumed because I wasn't in the best state of mind, my relationship was unstable with this person. I therefore was asexual because I had problems performing with this, this partner. Um, that doesn't mean I was asexual. I just thought it was just the best explanation for everything is to hide behind a label. I know that's not true. I know that now. But we live, we learn, and this is a good example. But I didn't want to mislead other people because of my labels. So, yeah.
that's why I'm not showing you the full video either. I just, it's a little cringy, but a lot of my videos are cringy to be fair, but this one is exceptionally cringy for me. So no, not, not putting it, not ever putting it back up there. So bye. Um, like very odd sexual fetishes I have. And, uh, and whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> um, again, this sort of is intertwined with the previous video I just showed you. Um, I was very, I was exploring my sexual side. Um, I still have very intimate sides that I don't necessarily feel like sharing on this channel. Um, I feel like it's a bit too much and it's a little embarrassing if someone from work actually got on the internet and actually saw this video, like seen it. And I felt it wasn't appropriate for this channel. Um, but um, what this video is about is I talk about the world of feti sexual fetishes that especially a lot of gay men have. And in this case, this is dealing with transformation fetishes and uh, a lot of men have those or not a lot, but there are, it's not very many actually. It's very few probably, but people have some sort of fetish and some are more extreme than the others. And this is a very extreme case. And I do have some aspects of this fetish. Um, but I, again, I don't want to show the whole video. I don't want to show the whole thing, but this is that's exactly what it was. So um, another video I uploaded, like, I don't know, it was like a year ago or some shit. I said I was asexual. In a sense, I'm asexual because I cannot. I mean, I have messed around with other people. Okay, so for I'll sit, I'll I'll spare you what I'm trying to say on this video. Is I thought because I'm asexual, I'm therefore um, I have a fetish that that makes me asexual. And 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 to be fair, that there is some truth to that. But I will do a video on all of this and probably combine these two videos together in in a sense and sort of explain and bring light to these because some of the stuff I'm speaking here is truth today but um, I might decide to actually do a YouTube channel which talks about you know sexual fetishes and stuff like that and explore them and I think a lot of guys would be interested in it and not only exploring them but trying to understand why they exist or why you may have one is it possible to shake it I don't know if you can shake fetishes. Do you want to shake your fetish even? So, really cool. Um, so, <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? What is this video? I fucking love how the top of a tuna can gets stuck. It's lodged in a fucking drain. It's bullshit. I told you hate being stood up. I fucking do. Reality. <laughs> What the hell? What was that video about? Dude. Seems like this January blues, as I call it, has subsided and um, I'm starting to feel much better, more Okay, happier. so when I started off this channel, I was through a huge depression. I just broke up with my boyfriend and it was absolutely horrible for me. I didn't know what to do. I just felt lost i felt what's the purpose of me is there something i blamed 100 percent myself on the whole relationship failure and oh that's a nice stopping point by the way but i blame myself 100 percent on that failure in the relationship and i felt if i really put more effort in i would have been able to keep it so i guess i lived a little bit in regret and i i it was a difficult time what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to go out and meet people. I'm going to meet. And that I did. I actually really was proud of myself. I said I was going to go out and meet people, and I did. I was meeting all kinds of people that year. And it was a really, really, really good time. It was my senior year in college, and it was a really, really awesome time. And um, I made it happen. And that was the thing that everything I said on YouTube during these times, I made it a reality and I was proud of myself. Well, random strangers. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll hook up, I don't know. We'll just see, just, I want to go out and just meet I like my hair like that, like by the way. I kind of like it, it was kind of move different. Back into the I really went to a good hairstylist. Um, I am still going to be making some videos, thank God. I really yeah. went to a good so hairstylist during this video, and it, was, and it means a great deal. Really, she's awesome. Um, she was like the coolest. I caught a lot of uh, confusion from this, and this video is going to be about incest and how I personally feel about it.
Um, that was a clickbait kind of video and I feel bad about it but I still kept it off so I'm guilty of keeping up I hate clickbait but that was a clickbait uh, I used to the title used to be called incest is the best or something it was called incest is the best holy crap that triggered people you know, life is life hey buddy can I join hey clever there you go three of us now I'm out of here, guys. You can stay with this freak. That I worked my butt off on that logo. <laughs> here we go. Let's see how long. Oh, this bothers me. <laughs> I can't help it. It's a nervous reflex. <laughs> I'm gonna be a man, man up. Yeah, just do different different ways too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we could he could last for five seconds, five whole seconds. Oh man. I really am. That is really me. I'm not putting on a show. I really am terribly ticklish. The thing, see, I was gonna punch him. See that? Five seconds. You know, give me some credit. Good job, good job. I'm highly ticklish. Good job. Good Damn. Job. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I will get him going. Let's see how long that is. See, he's already came in. I'm nervous, but I can really channel and watch. A lot of people, like, have a fetish for this, for, um, for being ticklish and stuff. I, it's... Screw you. He beat me. He is very good at not being tickled, so I, he was the worst person. Christmas, ho, ho, ho. What's up? It's me, Adorkable, and I want to invite you all on a day with us for a wonderful Christmas spectacular. <laughs> it looks like, it really does look like a penis, so I, I agree. So we spent me and Tomas went to a store, bought stage props. All right, let's continue. This the whole works for this. And we probably spent yeah, probably about 15, 16 what hours doing this video. I would say let's and I don't and think, and snow, people, some people just didn't like it. And it's like, um, you know, and it was a really, really good, um, really good uh, game, really good, uh, you know. I mean, it was really good. I mean, look at it. I mean, it was fun. We worked really hard. We put a lot of effort into this well, video, yeah, like I have the you know, and, and so like, look at this one, like really cool. I, actually, no, this was actually a lamer part, but you know, but no, uh, uh no, I just think so. So play right over. I thought I it kind of sucked. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm kind of with him on that. I'm with old me, yeah, younger me. Just chill. Actually, to find out, it was actually pretty sexual. For... <laughs> Get in my belly. <laughs> go, go on, talk, talk. Do yeah. tell. He's got in his uh, car here. He's got a, a Q-tip. Nasty little Q-tip. Just so relaxing. <laughs> I just want to do anything to not let me sit. I'm such a mess, man. Like I, like, I think I'm just genetically programmed to be like a wreck. Um, like I'm just just sloppy person. That's just me. I'll leave you. To Hi, I'm Matt, and I'm Tomas, and we're from, from the, the Adorkable, Adorkable Channel. Channel. That was so late. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hi, I'm Matt, and I'm Tomas, and I'm from. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt, and I'm Tomas, and we're, we're from, from the Adorkable Channel. <laughs> have left to talk about are controversial ones and I'll get to those someday. <laughs> I'll probably do another video coming up reflecting on all my existing videos. There's just so many. I thought this would take maybe 10 minutes to do. It's just taking me probably hours to do just some of this video recording as it is. So I was a bit shocked. So I got a lot of work of video editing ahead of me. So all right, I'll shut up. I'll go. All right. Bye guys. <laughs>